In this video, we will discuss the new general concrete shell design in ETABS version 23.00. Let's get started. For this example, we will be analyzing and designing a curved 12 inch thick wall system. So for general concrete shell design, consists of calculating the amount of reinforcement in the membrane layers required to resist bending moments and axial forces, and shear demand over capacity ratio at the nodes of the shell member. So the design results at other locations within the shell elements are averaged from those nodes. And we'll take a look at some output here in a little bit. So to access the concrete shell design, we'll go to design, concrete shell design, so you'll need to view and revise the preferences as well as define some design requests, which we'll do here in a minute. Here we have the ability to change the design code as well as make changes to any of the variables shown here. Next, let's take a look at the section properties. So in ETABS, the concrete shell design is only applicable for slab and wall sections. For both slab and wall section properties within modeling types of shell fin, shell thick, and membrane will be designed, while layered and composite will not. Within the slab section properties, slab drop, stiff, mat, and footing will be designed, but ribbed and waffle will not. For this example, we have some default dead and live loads already applied to the structure. As I was saying, prior to running the design, we'll go to the concrete shell design and define design requests. Here, we have the ability to choose specific groups for which you wish to have designed. In this case, we'll select the entire model. Also have the ability to select and design load combination types, as well as select the load combinations. You can take a look at how the load combo has been defined by clicking the show button. Okay, it's time to run the analysis and design. We can take a look at some output. So under design, concrete shell design, we can take a look at display design information. You have the ability to select specific components, face, top, or bottom, as well as the direction of the reinforcement. Uh, options for contour appearances, as well as contour values and scaling are available as well. I can put the cursor over the shell element to get detailed information about the reinforcement. Also, I can right-click on the element and take a look at the concrete shell design information. You have the ability to select overwrites, uh, but let's take a look at a summary first. Here, we can access information about uh, material properties, section properties, as well as all design-related information, including crack checks, layer reinforcement if necessary, layer model design, as well as shear design. But let's talk about this a little bit. In general, shell elements are subjected to eight stress resultants. Those are three membrane force components, N11, N22, and N12, two flexural moment components, M11 and M22, and the twisting moment, M12, and the two transverse shear components, V1 and V2. So for the purpose of design, the shell is isolated as a unit element. It's further idealized as compromising two outer layers and an uncracked core. This is sometimes called the sandwich model. So the outer layers of the sandwich model are assumed to carry moments and membrane forces, while the transverse shear forces are assigned to the core as shown in this figure. All of this information can be accessed in the General Concrete Shell Design Manual. Thank you.